He was a philosopher. Maybe Paul was a political prisoner. Or Paul was just wrongfully accused. And Paul, the Roman citizen, had asked for a trial. And therefore he was taken to Rome to be there on the house arrest. And finally, from there, he was executed. He was beheaded. Poor people... People without a stable, stable residence considered to be a public nuisance for the brunt of what we would call casual administrative violence, as well as short-term imprisonment on the local magistrate who just want to keep the peace. We must accept that Paul inhabited, as it sometimes is called, Paul inhabited a whippable body one that could be hit or be locked away by the local authorities without too much of noise, without with impunity. You could imprison people very easily for some kind of vague accusation like disorderly conduct. Paul's treatment was the same for many in ancient Rome especially if you were poor, homeless, or of an ethnic group that marked him as a part of an occupied people. Which is to say, Paul looked a lot like those who get over-policed and thrown into jail today, not only in Kenya, but all over the world. And even today, many of our judicial systems contribute to the same. Some of our people will be thrown into prison for relatively minor violations, while others, especially for crimes that involve more than 10 million shilling, or those who have powerful friends, they will never make it to prison. You might have committed a heinous crime, but you will be able to escape prison unscathed. There is a saying that the law is the same for everybody, but not everybody is the same for the Lord. 